Hello there and welcome to the new Google Data Studio tutorial where I will show you how you can create an area chart like this. So as you can see an area chart is a variation on the line chart or the time series chart. As you can see data is distributed over time for a dimension of our choice. So it uses shaded areas like this uh, that is under the plotted line on the graph to indicate the volume of data represented by the line. So volume is basically in this case represented by profit. So wherever the profit is more, you see that area is more and same is for the rest of the categories. And that helps us do the comparative analysis along with the trend information on this chart. So like a time series chart, area charts are useful for seeing how your data trends over time. And like I said, along with the trend, you also see the contribution of each part or each dimension value of this trend over a period of time. So it shows this uh, two different information on this same chart. And that's why in many dashboards, you will see that this chart is used very wisely to indicate these properties. Now let's see how we can create it from the scratch. So what I'll do is remove this by pressing delete button and then I will going to go here and add a chart. So area chart is over here. You have uh, three variation. One is the stacked area chart. That means uh, the values or the dimension values will be stacked one over another. Another one is the 100% area chart. So this area chart shows the values, but this is 100% stack area chart to show the real contribution in the terms of percentages. And then this is the area chart, which is non-stack area chart shows the actual values going up or down into the, uh, into the area chart. So a default is this one, which is used in most of the uh, dashboards or reports, but same configuration will be needed when you are working with any of these charts. So I will select one chart over here and click here. It will show us the default dimension and default measure. So the default dimension is the customer segment. As you can see it over here, the breakdown dimension is customer segment. Um, by default dimension is order date and it is showing you the actual date information. Now you have option over here that you can enable drill down. Once you enable the drill down, the very first dimension is year, month and finally the order date. Or uh, if you don't want this drill down, but always want to show a specific dimension, like a specific value, like for example, only for the year or only for the quarter, then what you can do is come over here on this icon, which is now converted into a pencil and then click over here. Over here, granularity option you have from granularity you can select. So let's say for example, I want to show it by year. So now the year information is displayed and I'll just click outside and over here, my dimension will now show me here. So this is something which you can even do with the line chart as well, that uh, based on the level of granularity that you want, then you can change the granularity by coming over here on the dimension and on this pencil icon when you click, you can change the granularity from here. And the same will be displayed on top of the chart. So that's the minimum setting one needs to do to create an area chart and uh, display the trend information over a period of time along with the dimension value to show how the chart is formed up both from the trend perspective as well as contribution of the values perspective.